So drawing chrome can be um, pretty tricky. So here's a few tricks and of course uh, materials that you can use uh, to start doing this a little bit easier um, and putting your own twist in it. So that marker that I put down, down the bottom there, that was um, called sand, that's a Copic marker. And then what I do next, and then I start to fill in the base layers. Uh, so essentially the areas that will, it's going to have majority of color of all that, or at least that same tone. Uh, as you can see here, I'm using a light blue for the sky. Um, I just added the reflection of the truck itself uh, with its own color. And then I start using blacks and some French grays, which you can use with um, Prismacolor pencils. Uh, I start to use those to add in some contrast. The contrast is so important. That's how you really get those really cool effects. So now I'm moving on to you know the, the lights and the other sections here. As like I said, I do my base layers first to so the most dominant tone or the most dominant color. Um, I will do a lot of. So you can see I'm using like a sky blue. Uh, some of these are French grays, and then I'm using uh, true blue, and then blended with white and a 10% gray. Uh, these are all Prismacolor pencils, like I was saying before. See, and now I start adding in the reflections of the truck itself. So I'm using the same blue of the truck, of the corner of the bonnet there. And then, you know, you can start adding some blacks to um, fill in some contrast. And you can just make it up as well, because you could just pretend there's trees or there's, you know, there's a, there's a building there. Um, here I'm drawing the reflection of the mirrors and then obviously any other little ideas that I might come up with. Now, the black, inside your greys um, will give a really cool effect and it will help that chrome really pop and again see base layers blacks on top uh, now that i've done that whole section i fill in the window with a sharpie uh, sharpies are so helpful so the rest here as you can see base layers and then i add um, some greys the reason i'm doing the black marker last is because you can get the pencil into the black a little pretty easily so that just helps me stop do, doing that in the future. So that's that sand marker, the reflection of the truck itself, um, and then adding some grays in there, some 50% and 70% grays, doing my blue, uh, using the white for like a good reflection, and then obviously a ruler to get some really nice crisp lines with the black, and there's your contrast. So this is um, the tank now, we're going to move into this now, it's, it looks super tricky but it's actually quite basic, follow the basics here which is your base layers, so there's that sand Copic marker, I'm now using uh, some greys, so 50-70% grey, cool greys on top of the marker, uh, just to give that, that, that grey a little bit more of a tone. Um, so that, and then I'm using a blender to blend them all together and now you're going to see me start to use some darker greys to bring out some contrast and now the black to finish it off. Now over here I'm going to use my blue, I'm obviously going to fill that space in, like I said, large areas first. Uh, that's a blue with some grey underneath it. Then my marker, uh, that's just a sharpie. Now here I'm going to pretty much draw the reflection of the tank, of the fender inside the tank there. Um, now I want to start filling in a little bit of contrast so I can guide myself a bit more. So I, I filled in where the tank split and where the, the um, footsteps split as well. And now I'm starting that in from top to bottom I'm working my way. So you can notice that I, am, I want to finish my top section first, work my way down the bottom. So down below there all I did was, was some 90% grey mixed in with a French grey. Um, and now I'm using my white to fill out some highlights and my blacks straight after that uh, to fill the contrast in um, and then a white marker to do those little lights. Uh, if you did enjoy this guys, I did create an online course uh, that shows you how to do this and much, much more in great detail. Click the link below uh, or check out the website crisscrossart.com. See you guys. Thank you for watching.